Hey friends, welcome back to Simply Storytime. Today we're going to read a cautionary tale by Mary Howitt called The Spider and the Fly. Will you walk into my parlor, said the spider to the fly. Tis the prettiest little parlor that you ever did spy. The way into my parlor is up a winding stair, and I have many, many curious things to show you when you are there. Oh no, said the little fly, to ask me is in vain, for who goes up your winding stairs can ne'er come down again. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed, said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains down, drawn around. I'm sure you must be weary, dear, with soaring up so high. Will you rest upon my little bed, said the spider to the fly. There are pretty curtains drawn around. The sheets are fine and thin. And if you like to rest a while, I'll snugly tuck you in. Oh, no, no, said the little fly, for I've often heard it said, they never, never wake again who sleep upon your bed. Said the cunning spider to the fly, dear friend, what can I do? To prove the warm affection I've always felt for you. I've within my pantry good store of all that's nice. I'm sure you're very welcome. Will you please to take a slice? Oh, no, no, said the little fly. Kind sir, that cannot be. I've heard what's in your pantry and I do not wish to see. Sweet creature, said the spider, you're witty and you're wise. How handsome are your gauzy wings, how brilliant are your eyes. I have a little looking glass upon my parlor shelf. If you'd step in one moment, dear, you shall behold yourself. I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're... I thank you, gentle sir, she said, for what you're pleased to say. Inviting you good morning now, I'll call another day. The spider turned him around about and went into his den, for well he knew the silly fly would soon come back again. So he wove a subtle web in a little corner sly and set his table ready to dine upon the fly. Then he came out to his door again and merrily did sing, Come hither, hither, pretty fly, with the pearl and silver wing. Your robes are green and purple. There's a crust upon your head. Your eyes are like the diamond bright, but mine are dull as lead. Alas, alas, how very soon the silly little fly Hearing his wily, flattering words came slowly flitting by. With buzzing wings she hung aloft, then near and nearer drew, thinking of only her brilliant eyes and green and purple hue, thinking only of her crested head, poor foolish thing at last. Up jumped the cunning spider and fiercely held her fast. He dragged her up his winding stair into his dismal den within his little parlor, but she ne'er came out again. And now, dear little children, who may this story read, to idle, silly, flattering words, I pray you never give heed. And to an evil counselor, close heart, and ear you and I, and take a lesson from this tale of the spider and the fly. Dear sweet creatures, 
No doubt you finished our delicious tell and are surprised by this little tragedy. But then again, what did you expect from a story about a spider and a fly? A happily ever after? Spiders are trappers, for goodness sakes. We've been doing it for generations, and we're quite good at it. Even your beloved Charlotte and E.B. White's classic Charlotte's Web admitted as much. But alas, the poor dear never capitalized on her fortune. Now, if I were in her shoes, I would be eating bacon. With a wealth of knowledge about spiders and our crafty, carnivorous ways, you'd think my web would be empty. But not a day passes without a helpless bug or two stopping by. What's a spider to do? To be completely fair, my most recent dinner guest put up a commendable fight. But I am a talented and persistent hunter with many schemes up my sleeves. And you can see, I always get my bug. So what does all this talk about spiders and traps have to do with you? Be warned, little dears. And know that spiders are not all the only hunters and bugs are not the only victims. Take what has transpired within these pages to heart or you might well find yourself trapped in some shimmer's web. Bon appetit, spider. <laughs>